video please like and comment and uh, subscribe and if you want to do an in-depth lesson sometime please visit me at my website musicmakerlessons.com I wanted to do today a little bit of like a part two to my zombie wolf um, thanks to those of you guys who have been uh, commenting and, and leaving me some suggestions and stuff I really really appreciate that um, and thank you again to all those who have visited me at my website and downloaded the packet which is free so please go and get that Anyways, this part of the song I think is a lot easier. So if you've done Zombie Wolf Part 1 already, you've already done all the hard stuff in the song. The, the tricky part about this is maybe like arranging. Um, and I also have a video, it's like five things to consider when you're arranging guitar music. So um, I would go check that out too um, because that's got a lot of good information about how I did what's in my Zombie Wolf arrangement video. So anyways... Uh, if you're following that stuff, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing so. And then this one is going to be kind of an easier lesson that I think will help anybody who's like, if you're working on that specific tune, I think it'll help you kind of finish this one off. Um, but that said, the important thing to know for this piece of the music is, um, is just a, ma a minor pentatonic scale. But you want to know it really, really in depth all the way up and down the guitar. I show people um, these inversions. I'll, I'll put up little um, sections, but they kind of break down into five segments going up and down. So if you start here, most, most guitar players know this one. But then if you want to now connect that to your major pentatonic, C major. Now invert them because those are all the same notes. And then we're back here. Back in the home pentatonic shape. But if you can get that, then I think something else maybe. See if you can do three notes on every string. You have to jump a little bit. If you do that, then you've got the whole range of the guitar to work with. So that's really good. But anyways, the riff that they're doing, it's this. It's from the first pentatonic scale, maybe sliding a little bit into the sliding into that and then maybe into into the five shape best music mixes things so it's best not to stay in a shape ever just mix shapes and throw throw a different ingredients into the pot if you will so that's what this song does so anyways we're starting in that shape one fret seven on the fourth string like that but then we're jumping to the ninth fret so Seven, five, seven, five, seven, then nine, five on the third string. Then really quick, seven, five, five. Sorry, seven, five, seven, right? Then five, next string, five, seven, five, then three real quick. So that's the lick. That's, that's the lick there. Um, then I'm just following the vocal melody in my arrangement. So just doing that all on one string. And there I go there. So that's 
seven five and then seven to ten. <laughs> Seven, slide to five, three. Then same notes. Then here. I don't know if that's what I do in my arrangement, but that's what I'm hearing in my head right now. So that's what I'll show you guys. But. Sliding from here, fret 7, to fret 12. But when I hit 12, I'm going to bend also. Right? Then I'm here, like D minor pentatonic. Because I'm going to hit a 4 chord. But then, really quick, they do a lick. And that's the last thing I'll show you here. This is in um, the third position uh, pentatonic there then they go into the tricky part which is in zombie wolf part one so i would redirect you to that video there for that part because i'm not going to do it any better here than i did it there um so that said that's what it is so the here's the lick i'm going to break it down into three notes at a time so first string 10 12 hammer on right then pinky on the second string Then, second string, 10, 13. Then, 12 on the third string. Right? Then, we're just going down the, the pentatonic in that scale pattern. So, that's 9, 12, 12. So, that 9 and 12 on the, on the third string, the G string. Then, 12 on the D string. So... Then we have that. So that's 10, 12, 12. Fourth string, 10, 12. Fifth string, 12. All together. I know that's just a pentatonic lick, but for me, that took me a long time to get that part down and then to tie it all into the tough section um, that comes right after that. So I would practice connection you know i think that's the main thing at this point if you're um still putting some of this video together still putting some of the some some of the parts to the song together i think that's the best thing to do is like practice them in little sections and then practice putting those sections together it's kind of like putting together a puzzle you know what i mean you just get like oh maybe i have this piece of the picture ready and i have this piece of the picture to get together and now oh i just need to find this link to to put them together and then now I have a full picture. So anyways, that said, hopefully this is really, really helpful for you. Everything else that I'm doing in that video is pentatonic scale tailored to the song Zombie Wolf. So I'm just, I mean, I'm following the lines of the vocal part. I'm following a little bit of the lines in the, in the guitar solo, but I am also improvising there as well. So um, I would encourage you to, you know, use your own creativity whenever you can on a project like this. Even though it's Zappa's tune, doesn't mean that like you can't put a little bit of yourself so you know I would I would encourage you to just be creative with it um, but I think the thing and this is like maybe a, a thing like I always wanted to be in the Zappa band when I was growing up so I heard that those auditions were ridiculous and he would ask you things like play this scale play that scale and then he would play something he would improvise something on a guitar and then he'd be like play that back for me you know like he would really really demand a lot from his players so I made sure to demand a lot for myself in my own practice and make sure that I can like not only play songs but play skills. Um, so if you can, you know, like get the scales and get them on a really deep level. We were talking about three notes per string and, and jumping up the entire neck. I think that's maybe a high level degree of knowing it. And if you can hear it in advance too, if you can sing that stuff in your head while you're playing it, then you can hear which notes you want to make. And, and again, that that helps you be more creative. Whatever lines you're singing here, if you can connect that here, that's that's all the more uh, effective in creating something. So anyways, I encourage you to do all of that. I encourage you to practice this stuff. Uh, and I encourage you, show me your zombie wolf arrangement when you get it all finished. I'm dying to hear them. Uh, I, I would really love to hear some other people's uh, versions of this stuff. So let me know if you get it together. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play my way out. 
But thank you again for, for joining me today. And uh, thanks again for, for liking and subscribing. And go visit me at my website if you want to do a real lesson. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.